In just three and a half hours, China achieved something that stunned even seasoned spaceflight watchers. A crewed spacecraft launch, orbit insertion, and docking with the Tiangong Space Station, all before most people finished lunch. The Shenzhou 21 mission isn't just a record for speed. It's a glimpse into how China's human spaceflight program is maturing into a precision-engineered system rivaling any on Earth. With bold experiments, next-generation astronauts, and hints of future lunar ambitions. On October 31, 2025, a Long March 2F rocket ignited the desert skies above Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China. At precisely 11.44 a.m. Eastern, 15.44 Universal Time coordinated, the Shenzhou-21 spacecraft began its journey carrying three astronauts, Commander Zhang Lu, Flight Engineer Wu Fei, and Payload Specialist Zhang Hongzhang. Just 3.5 hours later, the capsule executed a textbook perfect rendezvous and docking with the Tianhe core module of the Tiangong Space Station at 3.22 p.m. Eastern. That time matters. It's the fastest crewed orbital docking in Chinese history, cutting what used to take half a day down to a single orbit and a half. The efficiency shows how far China's orbital mechanics, ground control algorithms, and rocket timing precision have evolved since its first crewed launch in 2003. Zhang Lu is no stranger to Tiangong. He flew on Shenzhou 15 in 2022, making him one of China's most seasoned spacefarers. Wu Fei, just 32 years old, represents the program's youngest astronaut ever to reach orbit, an engineer from the China Academy of Space Technology with deep technical roots in spacecraft design. Zhang Hongzhang, a payload specialist and former researcher at the Dalian Institute of Chemical Physics, completes the trio highlighting the inclusion of domain experts as full crew members rather than passengers. The crew will spend around six months aboard Tiangong, overlapping briefly with the Shenzhou 20 astronauts, Chen Dong, Chen Zhongrui, and Wang Jie, before they return to Earth. The overlapping stay ensures continuous human presence on the station, China's answer to the ISS's long-duration crew rotation model. Mission planners have assigned 27 scientific experiments, spanning space life sciences, biotechnology, fluid physics, and materials research. The astronauts will also perform EVAs, external payload installations, and live educational events. This is the seventh crewed mission to Tiangong since its completion in 2022, underscoring China's rhythm of maintaining an operational, permanently inhabited outpost in orbit, and the 37th mission overall in China's manned space program. If Shenzhou 21 broke speed records on the way up, its real legacy might come from the work being done on board. For the first time in Chinese spaceflight history, rodent mammals, four black mice, two male and two female, have been launched for a long-duration study of life in microgravity. The experiment will observe their behavior, metabolism, and adaptation during six months in space. The goal isn't merely biological curiosity. It's to understand how mammals, including humans, might one day reproduce and develop healthy offspring beyond Earth. These mice are housed in a specialized module equipped with cameras, sensors, and automated feeding systems. After their orbital stay, they'll return to Earth for post-flight analysis to examine how space affected their organs, tissues, and genetic expression. For researchers, this could be a milestone toward understanding how the space environment influences reproduction an essential question if humanity intends to build sustainable colonies on the Moon or Mars. But the rodent study isn't the only breakthrough. Shenzhou 21 also carries a biochemical experiment exploring molecular chirality, the left-handed and right-handed asymmetry in molecules fundamental to life. By examining how amino acids and nucleotides behave under microgravity and radiation, scientists hope to uncover whether life's molecular handedness could emerge differently in space, or if the preference for one orientation is universal. Another set of payloads targets space materials science, including in-situ electrochemical and optical studies of lithium-ion batteries. These tests will evaluate how charge cycles and chemical stability change in orbit, knowledge that can lead to longer-lasting energy systems for satellites and deep space missions. Together, 
These experiments reveal Tiangong's transformation from a national engineering showcase into a true orbital laboratory. Earlier missions proved assembly, docking, and life support systems. Now, the focus has shifted to applied science, biomedicine, and materials innovation, disciplines that directly support future exploration. By hosting long-term, multidisciplinary research, Tiangong is establishing itself as a scientific bridge between Earth and the rest of the solar system. And perhaps most importantly, these experiments aren't isolated. They feed data into China's lunar and planetary human exploration roadmap. The Shenzhou-21 mission arrived just as China's space authorities revealed major updates on the nation's next giant leap, the crewed lunar landing program. At a press conference held the day before launch, the China Manned Space Engineering Office CMSEO, confirmed that several key hardware systems for the Moon program had completed their prototype phase. That includes the new Long March 10th rocket, the Mengzhou Crew spacecraft, the Lanyue Lunar Lander, the Wangyu Lunar Suit, and even a prototype lunar rover designed for astronaut operations on the surface. The first test flight of the Long March 10th and Mengzhou combination, expected around 2026, will likely target low Earth orbit verifying performance before deep space flights. The design will eventually support a two-launch architecture, one to deliver the lander, another to send the crew. Why does this matter to Shinjo 21? Because Tiangong serves as the perfect micro-laboratory for testing many of the physiological, operational, and engineering principles needed for lunar exploration. Every biological experiment, every EVA, Every materials test performed aboard the station teaches engineers how human systems behave in confined, isolated environments for extended periods, conditions astronauts will face on the moon's surface. Beyond the technical progress, there's a strategic dimension. China is steadily positioning itself for a crewed moon landing before 2030, potentially in parallel with NASA's Artemis III timeline. By integrating lessons from Tiangong's missions into lunar system design, China aims to shorten the learning curve dramatically. Moreover, the CMSEO has signaled plans to expand Tiangong itself. A multifunctional expansion module with six docking ports is in the works, designed to transform the station into a flexible platform that could host international partners or even serve as a staging node for lunar missions. If completed, Tiangong could evolve from a national outpost into the backbone of a cooperative orbital infrastructure one that supports both science and exploration in low Earth orbit and beyond. In short, Shinjo-21 is not an isolated achievement. It's a training mission for a lunar generation, laying the groundwork for the next decade of human expansion into deep space. When the Shinjo-21 spacecraft docked just 3.5 hours after launch, it wasn't only breaking a speed record, it was signaling China's growing confidence in crewed operations, precision navigation, and scientific ambition. Inside Tiangong, the experiments unfolding today are already shaping tomorrow's space frontier. From rodent life to molecular asymmetry, from microgravity physics to lunar landing preparation, every detail fits into a grand design. China's message is clear. Its space station is more than an orbiting lab. It's the rehearsal stage for humanity's next great leap. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.